Nathan is making some patterns using some matchsticks where he keeps a constant width of two matchsticks. So each pattern has a constant width of two matchsticks. Make a table of the first six designs and use it to find a formula connecting the design number N and the number of matchsticks M. Which design number has 100 matchsticks? So, making a table. So here's my table. Design number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. First six designs and the number of matchsticks is. In the first uh, design, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then what, what we are adding in each time, we're adding in two more. So 8 plus 2 will make 10. And again, we add two more in here. So we get 12. This pattern carries on. So we're going to get 14, 16, and 18. So this is a linear sequence. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 8. Uh, 18 because we've had to go up by 2 the difference is 2 the formula will start off as 2n and to find what we have to add to that if we go back 2 from the first one we get uh, 8 to take away 2 that gives me 6 and therefore if we put in here plus 6 we can check this when n is 1 2 times 1 is 2 2 plus 6 gives me 8 when n is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 6 gives me 10. Let's jump to this one. 2 times 6 is 12, 12 plus 6 gives me 18. It says now which design number has 100 matchsticks? So when m is equal to 100, we're going to have that 100 is equal to 2n plus 6. We now solve that. So taking 6 from both sides, we're going to get 94 is equal to 2n. Dividing by 2, we're going to get that n is 47, therefore design number 47 has a 100 matchsticks. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to use a practical problem and make a table and then find the formula and then use it to answer a problem. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.